Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I wanted to do a really fun video because I just got, yay! I am ready to get sistery. So I already played with this last night at like one in the morning. So I think I have an idea of what I wanted to do, but I'll just open it and show you what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And so um, I've really been inspired to do a lot more color lately. So that's what I think I'm going to do. So um, I'm going to do a little makeup look and then I will swatch some of my favorite colors after. So if you want to see what I do, please keep watching. Okay, so this palette is pretty big um, and there's so many colors to choose from, but I've really wanted I really wanted to get out of my comfort zone and I think the scariest colors for me are green. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a green look, <laughs> nothing related to fall, but I wanted to do that just to, you know, test my boundaries and unleash my inner artist. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush. This is just a little e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm gonna take the bright green shade called Social Blade. It is like lime green. And I'm going, oh, actually, first. I forgot. I'm just gonna put a dab of my shape tape on my lids, just to really get the color payoff. Just using my finger to blend it out. And then I'm going to take the white shade and just set it a little bit. Now, I'm just going to start kind of packing it into my crease a little bit. So as you can see, it's super pigmented, but I'm just going as lightly as I can because I want this to be a super blown out look. I don't want there to be like any harsh defined lines. I want it to be like really dreamy, really um, blended. So I'm going as light as I can. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another blending brush. This is BH Cosmetics number no. 6. And there's a little bit on it from yesterday, but I didn't dip back into that color. And I'm just going to start blending this out. Now I'm taking that brush and dipping back into the social blade color and starting to work that into the outer third. And I think for this type of look I like to use a light blending brush because if you use like a denser one you won't get the same effect. It'll be a lot darker um, unless that's the look you're going for and I think it's really important to bring the shade in here like really deep into that socket
Okay, now I'm going to take this a little bit denser brush. And this is BH Cosmetics number 9. Still sticking with Social Blade. I'm packing it now onto my eyelid and up into the crease. because now that I've blended it a little bit, I can pack it so it won't get anywhere that I don't want it to. Okay, I'm taking my number six again and diffusing the edges a little bit. Taking my number nine again. And I really like this because you can layer it and you're not going to compromise the color. It just seems to get brighter and brighter, which is really nice. And I just want a little bit more pigmentation here. Continuing to blend until it is as blown out as I want it to be. Clean up the outer edge a little, and then I'm just going to take a MAC 224 brush, which is a really big, fluffy blending brush, and just do the edges a little bit more. What's really awesome, too, is there is, like, no fallout, which is nice, especially if you want to do your face makeup first. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the crease... I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape again, and this is a Morphe brush. Um, it just is a small detail brush. And then what I'm going to do is take that again and do the lower lash line, but make it look a little bit bigger by going like that. Okay, now because I made this cut creates a little bit further out than I wanted to. I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics number 10 brush and dip back into Social Blade and kind of cover that up a little bit. And I'm going to dip into the white shade, the matte white shade. And I'm just going to keep packing the white shade on until it's as bright as I want it to be. Okay, now I'm going to take the yellow shade, which is called B. And I'm just trying to blend the white and green a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to do my lower lash line and I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics number 10 brush 
because it's a little bit more defined and I really want to accentuate the white here. I don't want to make any mistakes. That yellow shade again. Taking my number nine brush again. Number six. That white shade again. Do my brow bone. And I'm going to apply House of Lashes Iconic Light. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. Yeah. All right, 30, 29. And so those are the eyes. I think they are really cute, really dreamy. Um, super springy. I'm kind of getting poison ivy vibes, but that's okay. It looks kind of cool. And so now I got to figure out what lip to wear. Would that look nuts? Should we just keep it nude? Okay. This is the finished look. Here's the look I made using the James Charles and Morphe palette and I hope you like it. It's a little crazy, it's a little out there, but I actually think it turned out really cute. It turned out like exactly how I wanted it to with the super blown out um, color and then like not a really dramatic like glam. It just looks like super girly and dreamy and so I will say that this palette is amazing and the color payoff is incredible you can see here so um, I wanted to swatch a few of my favorite colors okay so um, I really like the shade Mary <laughs> when James was doing his reveal he was saying that it used to be a derogatory term, but they took it back and made it their own. So I think that is such a beautiful shade. It's like the perfect warm color. I absolutely love it. So Mary and then um, the shade Boutique. This is like, I have not seen a matte like this. This is Boutique. It is like a mauve matte eyeshadow, which is really interesting because I personally haven't seen a matte shade like that. So I really like these two, Mary Boutique. And I wanted to swatch the orange shade because I love the shade orange. And I strive all the time to find like the most pigmented orange matte shade I can. And so it's called 518. My hand's a little dry, but oh, that's really beautiful. I wanted to swatch Artistry. I was playing with this one last night and I was a little... Like, oh, okay, I, in the pan, it looks really dark, artistry, but when you are working with it, it's actually really light. It's almost like a topper. So it's right there. I was expecting a little bit more of like the deep purple shade, but... You know that's that's fine it's still really a beautiful color so that's artistry and 
yeah i'm really excited to try the rest of the shades out um i'm so happy i was able to get my hands on it the first time around um so i'm sure everybody has heard and seen uh, a lot of reviews on this already and um there was a little bit of like controversy controversy about the shade skip there was a girl on twitter ranting about how it stained her eyelids but uh i haven't experienced anything like that personally and i don't have the best track record with skin um especially for my eyelids so i don't know i don't know what that was about i personally don't see it um but that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed it and um give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more like this please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram and twitter my links are down below and i'll see you in my next video